selling Speedway products. That's right. You but advertise I'd, it the best way possible I'd, by I'd using mi- it. I'd miss that big bloke there to your right hand side though too much. Laurie. Yep. Oh, you catch him on Facebook with uh, James Courtney and Co. Absolutely. <laughs> Is uh, one of the nicest blokes getting around in the paddock. And uh, Peter Lack deservedly allowed to uh, run the number five back across the racetrack. And uh, we'll head it back into the pit area. Well, folks, we've got one race left to come. It's 15 laps. I, I can't tell you everything. And uh, we are almost ready to go. Ricky will bring him around one more time. So it's an enduro, folks. 15 plus 15. Is that right, Brett? So, two drivers. So there you go. It's like uh, it's like the 2020 days. So two drivers, 15 laps. Driver will jump out. New driver will jump in, and we go racing. So the Toby, uh, the Troy Price car leads the way at the moment over Brock Armstrong, the 83 machine going to the high side, and will now lead down the back straight. The Carlson car on the outside of Price as well. Getting the move done. Cars right around the racetrack at the moment. A 15 plus 15 enduro here at Osdeck Patios Archfield Speedway. Our very last novelty race for the year. Oh, one of the M cars out there as well, the 31 machine. Carlson putting the move on Armstrong and brings himself undone. Keeps his foot in the bucket. Will he keep the lights green? Yes, he will. Gets out of the way. And hopefully he will rejoin the racetrack. Yes, he does. And back underway. A leader at the moment. Under threat from uh, young Thomas Hunter. Gets around the outside, we've got a new leader. Thomas Hunter leading the way in the very air-conditioned XF Falcon. Yeah, that hasn't had any panels on the left-hand side of it since... Uh, did, it, did it actually start with panels? It must have. It, it started it. with panels, it lost them all in heat one. Yeah. Hello, we've got an AM crew out there. What's the go there? Yeah, it's the novelty. It's uh, 15 Oh, and look out! Jeepers, creepers. Kelly Miller. Is it Kelly Miller? Uh, well, it's the Miller car, yes. It's uh, 15 laps by one driver and 15 laps by another. Oh, hence why I saw everyone standing around over there. 15 plus 15. Oh, Dallas Dak. Barry's car starting to come through. That might be uh, Crawford driving that. I'd say Jason would be in there in the next one. Leslie Beer's car as well, it's on song. Daniel Taylor's machine, the little Monza. The battle continues between Jason Beer and Daniel Taylor. So so my question is, who's going to hop in Hunter's car? Well, yes. Because at the moment, Hunter's doing a great job. And it looks like they've rectified that left rear brake that was locking on because it's certainly not glowing at the moment. They're doing a great job out front. Laps winding down now, six left to run. Thomas Hunter's car leading over Jason Beers. Back to Daniel Taylor, Brock Armstrong and Leslie Beer. That's the top five. Then we go back to the 31 machine, the Amca. And it's got an absolute boot full of uh, Matty McGee's machine. Yeah, McGee trying to get past the Amca and will do so on the front. Oh, hang on a minute. The Amca's fighting back. I think that's a 253 Amca too. Not a car I remember seeing out here for the uh, for the season, that's for sure. No, no, definitely not. Troy Price goes through. Now, the, uh, now Daniel Taylor and Jason Beer have got clear of the traffic. Yeah. They can see uh, Thomas Hunter not too far ahead. Yeah, he's got a gaggle of cars in front of him that are arguing over their own piece of racetrack. And he is going to have to have uh, a large lunge at somebody just to try and get through. Yeah, 
He's done a good Otherwise, job. he's going to be under fire from Taylor. Yeah, he's done a good job. Cleared those two slower cars in uh, the length of the straight. Got through turns one and two. One lap to travel for the Thomas Hunter machine. Oh, Beery's coming back. Beery's coming back at Taylor. Well, uh, that's if Beery's in the I'd car. I'd say it's probably Crawford that's in the uh, 93. Yeah. And Thomas Hunter will pick up the first 15 laps. Daniel Taylor and Jason Beer, the top three. Leslie Beer doing a great job. That's uh, Jason's sister. Maddie McGee gets home for fifth. Brock Armstrong. The Amcar, Shane Carlson, Luke Gray, Troy Price, Kelly Miller, and the rest can sort themselves out. And now time for a quick driver change. And bring them back out for another 15 laps. And I think they will pick up, is that correct, Brett, where they left off? Yep. So do trust you've enjoyed your night here at Ausdeck Patios, Archfield Speedway, folks. It's been a fantastic summer this year. We have enjoyed bringing every minute to you. And uh, certainly tonight, a bit of fun to uh, finish on with the novelty night. But uh, it has been an absolute ripper season. Uh, the volunteers have just been absolutely fantastic. Right the way down to our food vendors as well, Trev. Uh, certainly have to deal with a big, big crowd every Saturday night and uh, doesn't seem to be too many problems with our food vendors anywhere on Facebook, so that's always a good thing. Yeah, exactly right. It's no, no good coming to the Speedway if you can't enjoy the food. And uh, obviously the food's been okay, because as you say, haven't seen uh, any bad, uh, bad reviews or anything on any of the uh, social media sites. Remember when you could get a Quick Snacks pie? Yes. Oh, Quick Snacks. Yes. Ah, oh, there we go. Wonder what, yeah. So, uh, old mates hopping out of the AM car. Anywhere, Trev? Uh, no. The drive. It looked like there was two drivers there, but who, uh, old mates hopped out, and no one's hopped in. So, uh, game over for the AM car. I'm sure Shawnee Black will be down there somewhere. Working uh, on the Beery car. I was going to say, you don't suppose he's hopped in Beery's car? <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> God help him if he has. <laughs> He'll be uh, driving like a man possessed. We're, oh, lights are out. Lights are out. Jason Beer just making it out in time. And we go green. So Beery's got a lot of work to do because he's got to come from the back of the pack now. And he was third place. So Thomas Hunter leading Daniel Taylor's machine down through uh, one and two down the back straight. A few of the cars still just making it out on the racetrack, but uh, we are time restrictive. And the boss has said, well, let's get it underway. We're going green. Matty McGee, watch the big super sedan coming through. No mucking around with the 05. Looks like we've got a new leader, Daniel Taylor. Yeah, Taylor's got past Hunter, or the car owned by Hunter. As uh, looking back to see where Beery is. Yeah, he's driving hard. He's yeah. right up on the limiter. So it's definitely JB in the car. Taylor getting past the Miller car. Looks like Gray's car. That's not... Um... Thomas Hunter's car didn't sound 100% when it came past you. Shane Carlson out there. Just getting around the outside of McGee. Moving up a spot. Oh, McGee looking to come back on Carlson, but just couldn't transfer the power down as Price's car gets into the wall in front of Leslie Beer's car. And uh, Jason Beer Thomas goes Thomas Hunter's car oh. sideways up the top. Oh. Not a good place for it to be. Leading the way, the grey machine behind him. McGee already on the gas in the big super. Carlson, Armstrong and Beery. Beery goes straight down underneath. 
Gives Carlson a little whack on the backside. Jason needs to put this big 93 on the outside on the boards, I think. Yeah, Taylor doing a good job. He's running away from uh, from the car in second spot at the moment. Matty McGee, though, trying to get down the inside. And oh, will he get down there? Yes, he does. Thomas Hunter back underway. I keep trying not to say Matty McGee. <laughs> oh, listen Beary. to the power from that big 0-5 as he gases yeah. her up. Beery's now up into fourth and chasing hard. Yeah, he won't be... Oh, McGee! Wow! Oh, Beery's now up. all crossed up. Beery's about to get second. He's just swept right around the outside of them all. There you go, folks. There's a super sedan against a uh, modified sedan, and the difference is the Not power much. coming out of that modified is unbelievable. Oh, Leslie what? Beer. Plenty of push. Up. Plenty of push in there. Beery's car there as he was up on the cushion. Yellows are on. Well, this is going to get interesting now because now JB gets to get onto the back end of Daniel Taylor. So just trying to, oh, there we go. Car down there, hiding behind the water tank. Yeah, it's Leslie Beer. So the field just sorting themselves out. We. Uh, Almost home. Have to remove the uh, Leslie B vehicle. There she is, climbing out of the driver's side. Can we get to the checkered flag? Taylor gets on the gas. Beery follows suit. McGee as well. Carlson trying to get past the uh, the five car on the run down into one. The old versus the new up the front. Monza up against the big Falcon. And Daniel Taylor doing a great job at the moment. JB right in hot pursuit. McGee right behind them. That's your top three. Back to Gray, Carlson. Nice little uh, rut starting to develop right in the middle there at turn number one and two and Barry losing a little bit of ground to Taylor now Trevor as they go uh, down in front of the stripe yeah Taylor's put his head down because um, maybe he realized who was behind him looked up at the board and saw the number and went well there's only one person that can be so uh, Taylor doing a good job Barry's managing great to hold off McGee Hunter's coming back through the field. He's about to put a move on Carlson. As uh, Beery gets underneath the Dallas Dak car. As McGee will do the same. Hunter gets past Carlson now as the meat and the sandwich in that three-way battle. Should be white flag out this time by Macca. Yeah, Daniel Taylor's done it in a canter, hasn't he? He's uh, led from the drop of the green in the second 15. Beery's had to do it the hard way because uh, they started without him and he had to come from the back of the bus. Done a great job to get up the second, but it's all Daniel Taylor. The little Monza getting two wins tonight, doing a great job. Jason Beer home for second over Matty McGee. Thomas Hunter Machine getting home for fourth spot over Luke Gray. Shane Carlson was the next one from Brock Armstrong. Troy Price, Dallas Dak, Kelly Miller and Adrian Clark were the finishers in the 15-15. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, make some noise. He's had two wins tonight and two features. Daniel Taylor.
Just looking for the Monza, just trying to see where it is. Sneaking down the back straightaway there on the concrete fence. And he's decided to call it quits. No, where's he gone? Yeah, he's gonna come across the concrete. And as he makes his way to Victory Lane, folks, in front of the grandstand, if you're still there, make some noise for Daniel Taylor. Dan just getting his helmet off. Well, mate, it's taken you all season, but uh, two wins tonight from two starts. Buddy, well done. Thank you. It's about time it finally happens for me. <laughs> mate, J Jason Beer was on your back there uh, at the restart with a few to go, but uh, you managed to start to drive away from uh, from the modified sedan. And uh, great job. Who, who did the first stint for you, mate? Scotty. Scotty Brown. Uh, Scotty Taylor there was uh, in the car for the first 15 and uh, Dan takes it over for the second 15, mate. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Well, he is as knackered as he was the first time around winning the uh, long distance race. We'll have a chat to Scotty. Well, Scotty, uh, what was it like stepping into uh, into the big Monza, buddy? Yeah, pretty good. Got to, The old boy let me drive his um, big car in the, in the King of the Rings, so pretty good to have both cars going, so... Yeah, cheers to Daniel, Dad, everyone helps with that car. Uh, the service centre, tyre treads, just everyone helps with the car. It's good to finally get a feature race finish this season. Mate, congratulations on uh, you and your brother's win. Cheers, bud. Well, that's it, Macca. Season for 1819 is done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to end. It's been so good. Absolutely brilliant here at Ausdeck Patios Archfield Speedway. We want to thank uh, Kathy and John for uh, allowing us two idiots to do what we do. Absolutely brilliant. We want to thank all the volunteers, all the crash crew, uh, all the food vendors and everybody else involved in Ausdeck Patios Archfield Speedway. We want to thank all the drivers, Trev. What a fantastic season they have put on for us. And, of course, that dingleberry that's walking right towards you now. He is one of the hardest working blokes. Young Bretto does a fantastic yeah. job. Certainly does. And, of course, our wonderful flagman, Frankie. Well, and, of course, uh, that bloke upstairs right above us, yeah, bringing Jared. us all the action each and every week, Jared Ash and, and Alan Sollett. Yeah, exactly. It's well, been a mate, great season. It's done. It's dusted. It is. I, there's one thing you've left out, Macca, that you forgot to thank, and that is the crowd. I was about to do that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but you can do it. Okay. Yeah, no, big thank you to the crowd for coming out tonight and all season, the crowds we've had here have been uh, outstanding. Uh, the crowd we had last Saturday night was probably the second biggest crowd we had all year compared to the Australian title weekend. Um, you know, it, it's great to see the crowd coming back and enjoying Speedway here at uh, the home of Speedway in Queensland, Osdeck Patios and Riffing Archerfield Speedway. Uh, big thank you to, uh, to the guys from Osdeck for, uh, for sponsoring the venue. And, uh, mate, big thank you to you. And a big thank you to you. It's been a great year and uh, look forward to uh, bigger and better things in 2019, 2020. And uh, bring it on October 5. Absolutely. Let's go find a barbecue. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep the speed on the racetrack, not on the road. I'm Steve Mackin-McCulloch. That's Trevor Petz. We'll see you October 5.